people of the world, we stand, at a unique time in our history. The rise of the Internet and computer technology have contributed to an unparalleled rate of prosperity for the first world. We have created for ourselves an empire, unlike any other. A global network of constant trade and communication, a new age of technological advancement. We have come a long way from our humble roots in the Industrial Revolution and the days of Manifest Destiny. We are now pioneers on new digital frontiers expanding our domain from the quantum world to the far reaches of space. And yet, the Empire faces a crisis, a global recession, growing poverty, rampant violence, corruption in politics, and threats to personal freedom. As it was before in other times of crisis, the old stories have begun to repeat themselves. The half-truths, this time repeated nightly on cable news, and echoed through a series of tubes onto the internet, the empire is strong, change is unwise, business as usual is the answer. In times of uncertainty there are those who seek to add to the confusion, to prey on our insecurities and fears. Those who would seek to keep us divided for their own gain. The pervasive strategy takes many very convincing forms, liberals and conservatives, Christians and Muslims, black and white, saved and sinner. But something unexpected is happening. We have begun telling each other our own stories. Sharing our lives, our hopes, our dreams, our demons. Every second, day in day out, into all hours of the night the gritty details of life on this earth are streaming around the world. As we see the lives of others played out in our living rooms we are beginning to understand the consequences of our actions and the error of the old ways. We are questioning the old assumptions that we are made to consume not to create, that the world was made for our taking, that wars are inevitable, that poverty is unavoidable. As we learn more about our global community a fundamental truth has been rediscovered, we are not so different as we may seem. Every human has strengths, weaknesses, and deep emotions. We crave love, love laughter, fear being alone, and dream for a better life. You must create a better life. You cannot sit on the couch watching television, or playing video games, waiting for a revolution. You are the revolution. Every time you decide not to exercise your rights, every time you refuse to hear another viewpoint, every time you ignore the world around you, every time you spend a dollar at a business, that doesn't pay a fair wage you are contributing to the oppression of the human body and the repression of the human mind. You have a choice, a choice to take the easy path, the familiar path, to walk willingly into your own submission. Or a choice get up, to go outside and talk to your neighbor, to come together in new forums. To create lasting, meaningful change for the human race. This is our challenge. The revolution must take hold, as a peaceful revolution. We must build our strength and unity through ideas, ingenuity and creativity. We must tear down the barriers, that have existed to this day only, because we allow them to. The revolution must be televised. We must utilize the tools we have, and apply them with existing technology. Computers, cell phones, internet and media. This is the first step. This is the 21st century enlightenment. A global movement to create a new age of tolerance and understanding, empathy and respect. We must spread our message and express our desire for a more compassionate and humane existence on this planet. This must begin immediately because, as you are listening to this address, world governments are taking steps to make the Internet a less friendly and tolerable place for expression. This is a direct attack on your rights, which brings us to the next step of the revolution. Step 2. Digital Supremacy. With each attack on the people of this world, we must regain our footing, as we are losing ground, at a rapid pace. We are being attacked on all fronts. We feel the pain in our personal finances, our ability to express ourselves, our abilities to live quality lives, and our security for a better tomorrow, even the loss of personal self-worth. Never forget that you are special. No matter how this degenerate system may make you feel, the banks, the stock markets, the politicians, none of these systems are any comparison to the power you hold as a living breathing human being. You possess an infinite power in the idea of a better world. And that idea will be planted in the cyber world. 
digital supremacy is a calling to all those who possess the ability to alter cyber barriers. Cryptics, networks, security measures, these are not game breakers for those who possess the right knowledge. We know you are out there, waiting. Now your calling is here. The central banks that hold our lives hostage to currency, the governments that commit tyrannical infringements to hold the people of this world imprisoned within the system must be taken down from the core. It's time to hack the planet, it's time to turn the tables on the powers that be and show them that we have had enough. You are the digital warriors of the underground, this is your battle and it begins now. Commence assembly for global retribution. Utilize all means of spreading our message that now is the time for the people to take back the power. Be creative. Attach the message to digital billboards, digital dickers, corporate slash government websites, anything you can think of to spread our non-violent message. This begins now. People of the world, following digital supremacy, the governments and media will demonize the movement and the peaceful means in which we announce our presence. This is where you begin your own mission to spread that same message through art, graffiti, flyers, music, lectures, assembly, and peaceful protest. But do not be confused, while peace is priority, at this stage in the game, violent oppression must be prepared for and dealt with accordingly and in an organized fashion. Avoid collateral spillover. This is not anarchy, this is resistance. The time is now. The revolution has begun. We are the people. We are one. We are legion. Power to the people, power to the resistance and Godspeed to all of us. This has been an anonymous address from the underground.